Hi guys, uh, okay, uh, this is another video in the Jetstream series, uh, Jetstream section. So here we will check out to add extra fields in the registration process. So this is a new uh, fresh uh, Laravel Jetstream app. I actually didn't run the migration, so that's why it's uh, displaying like this. Let's go ahead and see like what we, what are the steps that we need to take to add the extra steps. So actually I have another application and actually running at jetstream.log. So if you see like there are only these registration process, this is uh, these are the from our previous video, name, email, password, confirm password. So what if we need to add other field like uh, company or phone number. So let's go ahead and see like what are the changes that we need to do. So the first change that we need to do it will, is in the migration folder. So let's go ahead and see the migrations. Uh, so okay, first we need to add uh, extra fields here. Uh, let's just copy these guys. Okay, the first field that we need to want uh, need to add is company, and the second field that we need to add is uh, that is phone number. Let's make phone number maybe fourteen length. Okay, so first uh, we we added this migration. Let's go ahead and run this migration now. I think that's done from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh our application to see if now it uh, shows the home page. So let's go ahead to the register page and see how we can add these fields here. To add these fields here, we just we just need to go to the resources, uh, views, authentication, and register. Here, uh, we will copy these guys and create our new fields like company and phone number. Let's go ahead and update these guys. Let's make it company. Uh, change type to text, and let's make it company. Uh, to do uh, multiple uh, val uh, multiple value renaming, like the same value renaming, you can just press Control G and you will select all the values that are similar to the one uh, you selected, and you can just do the renaming quickly. So the next is phone number. So let's go ahead and make it phone number. Let's change the label to phone number. Okay, and let's change the type to text. And uh, I think yeah, that should work. Okay, the first is company, and the second is phone number. Let's go ahead and refresh our application to see if the fields are displayed. Uh, okay, the uh, company and phone number both are displaying now. So uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add these fields to the model as well. So in the model fillable, actually if it is not in fillable, so it will fail. Uh, there are two ways to create the model, you know, like one is fillable and the other one is you have to set the fields one by one. So we will we will look at both, both of these uh, scenarios. So let's go ahead and write company. And let's set phone number. Okay, uh, so now this is done here. Now the last thing that is remaining is the validation, validation part, and uh, save it. So whenever you actually install the Fortify address stream, it actually publishes these actions. So if you go to Fortify, actually Fortify is the backend for this just stream. Uh, just stream is it is the front end of the application, front end of the starter kit. So you would need to go to the create new user. So here you can see like, okay, they, these are the fields that are being validated. So here uh, you can put the validation for company. You can put the validation for company. Let's make it required and let's make it max to 55. And then there is phone number. Let's make it required and let's put some relics here. And it will be a numeric and it will be in the range of 10 to 12 based on your locality. Make it, let's make it 14. And the lastly, that uh, this is where that we're using the fillable because you were using directly create, uh, passing it in array. So it will fill up all the values. So company will be input of company and uh, phone number. You can, you can get again press control G to select both values. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and refresh and see like if it works. So let's try to register a user with my name. Let's put the company at my ink. Let's put my number, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's put the password. And see if it works. Okay, cool, so it worked. So yeah, let's go ahead and end the database and check like if it worked or not. So let's connect our database. Our user is root, our password is SQL admin, and our database is JetStream Extra. Okay, let's go ahead and add this database to the project. 
okay it's refreshing the schema let's go ahead and open this table so yeah so as you can see like name email company phone number email verified and the other fields are already here so you now you can actually add any extra field that you want to in the regist registration page and you don't have to worry about it uh, so yeah that's it for this video i will see you in the next video if you have any question or comment let me know i will try to address the address those in our next video see you cheers bye bye